Welcome to the Creative Hexa. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to create a kaleidoscope effect in the Fendi Photo. A kaleidoscope is an optical tubular instrument that consists of mirrors. The mirrors in the tube are rotated at a certain angle, usually 45 degrees or 60 degrees. When you look into a kaleidoscope, you'll see a variety of pattern images due to the mirrors reflecting each other when rotated. This instrument was invented by Sir David Brewster when he patented his invention in 1817. Graphic designers, fashion designers, quilt makers, and more use kaleidoscope patterns in their work. First, go to File Open and select the picture you downloaded. When choosing pictures to create a kaleidoscope effect, make sure you use colorful pictures. That way, the kaleidoscope will be colorful too. Press Ctrl and J to duplicate the layer. Turn this layer off for now. Next, go to the Filters menu and select the Mirror Filter. As the name implies, this filter creates different mirror effects. Feel free to use whatever values you want in these areas. The number of mirrors sets the number of mirrors that will be used for the image reflections. The more you increase this, the more mirrors you add. In the input section, the original image and the reflection are rotated in opposite directions around a rotation point. The output section also rotates the image based on the degree you set it to. I set the number of mirrors to 16 and the input to 225 degrees. We can make this kaleidoscope the background for the woman in the original image. In the Layers panel, turn off the Kaleidoscope layer, then select the original picture. Grab the Selection Brush tool from the Tools panel. In the Context toolbar, set the Mode to Add and check the Snap to Edges box. Take the brush and select the woman and her purse. To increase the brush size, press the right bracket key. Press the left bracket key to decrease the brush size. If you select an unwanted area, press and hold the Alt key and go over that area to deselect it. Also press and hold the Alt key to select the area between the chain and the purse and for the area space between the woman's hand. This will exclude these areas from the selection. When you get to the shoe area, include the shadows of the shoes too. After selecting the woman in her purse, go to the context toolbar and hit refine. In the output section, select new layer and click apply. In the layers panel, take the woman and drag the layer to the top. Grab the Move tool from the Tools panel. Go to the Transform panel and click the Lock Aspect Ratio. Then resize the woman to your desired look. The other thing we can do with this kaleidoscope look is turn it into a seamless pattern. In the Layers panel, turn off the Woman layer. Select the Kaleidoscope layer and press Ctrl and J to duplicate it. With the duplicate selected, go to the Filters menu. Select the Affine filter. With this filter, you can take the entire document or a selection and rotate, move, or scale it by different percentage amounts. To create a pattern using this filter, set the scale X and scale Y to 50% or to any number below 50% depending on your desired look. 
The offset X and offset Y are used to control the horizontal and vertical offset of the document or selection. Set the extend mode to wrap. This is the option you want to use for creating seamless patterns and textures. For the rotation, you can choose whether or not you want to use it based on what you want your pattern to look like. After that, go to the layer menu. Select new pattern layer from selection. This will create a new layer, which is now a pattern layer with your design on it. Go to file new to create a new document. The document size doesn't matter. Copy the pattern layer from the other document and paste it onto the new document. Grab the move tool and resize the pattern. As you resize the pattern, you see that the pattern itself is being resized and duplicated so that the entire document is filled. You can then take this pattern and place it on anything you want, such as fabric, aprons, towels, and much more. And this is how to create a kaleidoscope effect in Affinity Photo. If you've enjoyed watching this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, hit the bell icon to turn on post notifications so you never miss an upload.